Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Anna. In this channel, I share with you my hobby of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of my favorite beverage, coffee. So today, I will be showing you how to repot a cactus when you find out that it is so root bound in its previous pot. So this is my golden barrel. And when I purchased this uh, two years ago, it was just in a two inch pot. And then after a few months, I repotted it in a four inch pot. And in just one year, as you can see, it has already overgrown its four inch pot. So golden barrels, they grow very fast when they grow, when you grow them in full sun. Like I've seen this planted um, in the yards or, or gardens on the houses here in Las Vegas. And if you plant this in the ground, it grows fast and it, they're, they're huge. They grow really big. So hence, this golden barrel of mine is growing very fast and it has outgrown its 4 inch pot. And when I took it out of its pot, I saw that it is so root bound. So I will show you. I did not film anymore the process of me taking it out of its pot because it took me a while. I thought I was going to break, I needed to break the pot just to take it out. But luckily I didn't have to do that. But I did have a hard time taking it out because it was so root bound and the roots were already attached to the terracotta pot. So let me show you the root system. See, it actually has the shape of the terracotta pot. So it is so root bound even at the bottom that's all roots right there so if you have a cactus that is so root bound in its pot and you're going to repot it um normally what i do is i try to loosen the bottom loosen the roots at the bottom i don't like to disturb the root as much so i just try to loosen around it or at the bottom but in this case as you can see it is so compact so it is so tight there's no way I can loosen the soil or the roots without actually breaking them so what I do when I have a uh, root bound cactus like this so instead of trying to force it to loosen what I'm going to do is I'll just flush or put this in running water and try to take out as much soil as I can in running water and some of you might be thinking what if i just put the entire thing inside its new pot without trying to loosen the roots or the soil at the bottom so what if you just prop the whole thing in its new pot without loosening the soil so i've done this mistake before and i've learned from it so if you do this what will happen is if you put soil around it or underneath it when you water this one without actually trying to free up the roots what will happen is the water will just flow in the new soil that you put in and underneath it and then the water will just flow out at the bottom and the middle part where the roots is actually is will not get any water or it will be hard to penetrate for the water to penetrate the roots because this is so compact so the water will just flow on the sides and out through the drainage hole without actually getting the roots wet and what happened was when i did that before my cactus even though i kept watering it it just started to shrivel and i was wondering why and so after a month I took it out of its pot again and I found out that underneath it still had the shape of the previous pot and it was so bone dry. The roots were so bone dry but the soil around it was wet.
so here is my golden barrel after i washed off most of the soil so look at all those roots underneath um, i did not completely go uh, bare root because i will be repotting it anyway so i just washed off as much soil as i can uh, and leaving some intact um, with the roots so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna let this dry first for about two days before repotting it in its new pot so it has been a few days since we washed off some of the soil from the roots so now we are ready to put this golden barrel in its new pot So now that the roots are free, or we've loosened up most of the roots, the water will be, it will be easier for the water to penetrate the root ball. And also, it will be easier for the roots to grow and spread out in its new pot. So the last thing that I will do is put some top dressing in my pot. So I like to use top dressing because this helps prevent the soil, especially the perlite, from floating to the top whenever I water my cactus. and um if you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to my subscribers thank you so much for your support for those who are new to this channel i hope you will click that subscribe button and also hit the bell to get notified whenever i post new videos so i think that should be good Okay, let me just clear this table. All right, so there you have it. I repotted my golden barrel. It was root bound before, but now the roots are free, and um, hopefully, this will not outgrow its pot until I'm giving it maybe two years. <laughs> All right. So that's it for my video today and as always I thank everyone for stopping by and have a good day and cheers!